New minor disease spreading. Believe it or not, Ebola water causes disease. Oh my god. Who would have expected it? Let's do this. So today, we're going to be making a beautiful new disease. I mean, soft drink. And someone said that we start with something. But I don't see it, so I'm sad. The genes unlock 0%. Okay, so let's do normal. Let's do normal this time, okay? Yes, I think we're all set. So, today we are making a new soft drink. We're starting a new company, uh, and we're calling it Ebola water. It's the cleanest water you can... It's, it's a it's a tasty drink sweet sweet like dr pepper it, it's fantastic the greatest the greatest soft drink we're going to be selling you bolo water it, it's gonna be great guys it's gonna be tasty delicious so we're going to start selling ebola water somewhere where they don't actually understand uh what the words are um what what is what is the most lowly educated country in the world um one second let's do some googling my phone doesn't even recognize me with this mask on least educated country burkina faso guinea niger uh i don't know Oh, no, it's broken off. Oh, I, I guess West Africa was chosen. Okay, well, it didn't really let me choose there. Um, I guess West Africa. Central Africa already knows what Ebola is. Um, so, I guess it's... We're getting the Ebola from Central Africa. We're canning and bottling it, and then we're selling it in West Africa. So efficient! Look at that. Great business practice. Get your supply close to where the demand is. Um, fantastic. Ebola water is going to be fantastic. Already we have six customers. Seven, eight customers. Wow. That's very impressive, very nice. I do like seeing that my customer base is growing. It looks like 20 people have tried a bowl of water. Now, the key is to add lots of sugar, because then people will definitely like it. And let's, uh... The Ebola water, when people pour it out, it's going to evaporate, and it'll get into the rivers. And then people will get, a, get addicted to it just by drinking, you know, water from the river. They won't even know. They'll be like, huh, that tastes a little bit like that soft drink. They, they won't notice. There's no way they'll notice. A bowl of water. We now have hundreds of paying customers. Look at that. It's spreading like wildfire. It, it's going to be a very exciting day. When our first international customer buys a bowl of water. Ah, thousands of customers. It looks like our business model has been very successful thus far. Okay, so people are buying a bowl of water. It's having a little bit of trouble importing to other countries. Oh, Libya! Libya starting to import a bowl of water. Oh, fantastic. The healthiest drink since Gatorade. <laughs> ah, I closed the gate. Oh. oh, we've infected. We've infected Central Africa. Hopefully they don't realize. <laughs> oh, great. Nausea. Nausea symptom mutated. Should probably get rid of that so that nobody realizes it exists. One second. Let's just devolve it. And let's increase the transmission. And abilities, we can do bacterial resilience. Great. 
So we're spreading pretty quickly. We've got 50 million customers. Holy moly, we're making a lot of money. Jeez. Um, we have a lot of customers, a lot of paying customers, 300 million. I think we may have just passed like every soft drink company in the world. Wow, that's pretty impressive. People are very much enjoying the Ribola water. The issue is that nobody really uh, in developed countries are enjoying it yet. We're gonna translate it. We're gonna call it like Ibolu Wator. And then people think it's like a fancy drink and they aren't gonna notice. So let's, let's do that. Let's rename it to something fancy. And that'll give us a little bit more of an ability. So you're a tour. It's all, it's all set. Ah, see. Now, now, now something's going on. Now we're moving. We're getting through some planes. Fancy businessmen are drinking their Ebola tour on their planes. Um, everyone is enjoying their Ebola water. Oh, yikes. Huge earthquake in Mexico. 2,000 dead. That's sad. Nobody has even realized that Ebola water exists yet. Or, or that it's dangerous. Like, we have we have been uh, selling this stuff for so long now. And nobody could expect that Ebola water is dangerous. Nobody has done any research into it. Nobody has realized because it has literally zero symptoms. There are no symptoms to Ebola water. Oh, now there's rashes. That's slightly uncomfortable. Let's see if we get a refund for it. We do! Oh, that's so convenient. Jeez. And now we can ensure that it's going to make it literally everywhere in the world. Ready? Bam. Environmental hardening. I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to do drug resistance. Actually, I'm going to do cure hardening. I'm going to I'm going to start looking ahead. I think that we we already have Greenland infected in Medica. Are there any healthy countries? Only Sweden. Sweden is the only country who has not yet purchased any Ebola water. Sweden, come on. Ah! Sweden, there we go. Okay, let's start adding the fun parts to Ebola water. Um, let's just let some more people get infected so we get a little bit more uh, DNA. Man, nobody expected. Nobody expected Ebola water. Who would have thought it was unhealthy? Seven billion people are now paying customers of Ebola water. Okay, everyone is now infected pretty much. Um, nausea's fine, go ahead. Now there is a symptom. People are gonna start being like, ah, I feel a little bit sick after I drink a bowl of water, but a bowl of water is so popular now, it's replaced normal water. There, there is literally no real normal water left because it's so easy to make a bowl of water. It takes pretty much zero health standards, so companies are eating it up. It's easier to give your people a bowl of water. Much easier. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go over to symptoms and... Let's... What are we going to target... Let's do this. Um, we're gonna go through rashes, sweating, and then we're gonna go to skin lesions. And this is going to make gangrene uh, a thing, but it's also going to make it so that dead bodies transmit it. And then you won't be able to avoid a bowl of water uh, anywhere. New minor disease spreading, believe it or not. A bowl of water causes disease. Oh my god. Who would have expected it? It's greater me. I have never looked suspicious in any way when handling a bowl of water. It, it appears to be mostly harmless. Let's just watch the dead. Hmm, people are working on a cure. What? 
How are people working on a cure? It's a very healthy disease. Okay, so I did make it somewhat deadly. What? Oh, it's got no lethality. I thought that that actually added a little bit. How much does this cost? 30? Oh my god. What? What? Everyone's infected. I may have made a serious mistake. Does this increase lethality at all? I mean, it causes... Walmart is removing a bowl of water from stores. Okay, how do I kill everyone? How am I going to do this? Um... This costs 12, I have 7, so I can devolve this, which gives me a little bit. We're gonna kill everyone with a fever? That's kinda lame. We'll get rid of Rash. And then we need slightly more. We'll stop sweating. And then we'll kill everyone with fever. I don't know, can I do better than fever? Yeah, I, I don't really have enough to do anything else. Um, let's hope that fever is enough. First death in Australia. Okay! 50,000 no healthy people left in the world. Get those numbers up. 1 million dead. 2 million dead. 3 million. 4 million. Oh, it's been put on the watch list. It's, it could be unstoppable. Oh, no. That would be really unfortunate. Thankfully, we did that cure hardening thing, which probably isn't super, super helpful. Um, okay. So, we just need to get a little bit of DNA to make it slightly more deadly. The World Cup has been <laughs> canceled. Japan shut down land borders. Okay, so I don't think people are dying fast enough. Yeah, okay, okay, but, but, I've got a plan, guys. Don't worry, we're not done yet. It's not over yet. So, I've learned from this. We're going to go back. A bowl of water was step one. But now, you know what they did? There was a ton of Ebola water left on the shelves, so what better to do than just pour it out? We are now at our next evolution. We are now... at Ebola rain. <laughs> All the water they've poured out has now gone to the atmosphere. It is now raining Ebola. This, th this is going to be more effective. There's no way they're going to be able to avoid this one. Where are we going to start? Hmm. The cloud has traveled across the world. A bull rain is here. But where is it going to land? Hmm. Where do we want it to start? Middle America. You know what? The United States. Ebola rain has fallen in the United States. And and now things are going to be a little bit a little bit intense because it is raining. And little do they know, it's literally raining Ebola. Which is slightly dangerous, especially uh especially if it gets on you. In which case, you're kind of dead. But not yet, because we have to evolve. We're going to be very strategic about this. Okay. Let's go to transmission, and we're going to be careful this time. We're not going to over-evolve everything. We're going to just get one of each, and then we're going to quickly go over and do the heat and cold. I'm pretty confident we can pull this off. 
It's literally raining Ebola. If I don't manage to kill off the entire world, then that would be kind of disappointing. Nobody expects it, though. They think, they think that the Ebola water issue is over. They think that they've gotten away with it. They think that they've cured it, but now it's airborne. It's fine, you've got your fancy medicine, but guess what? So do I. Here we go. The rain is falling. Once the rain starts falling, it evaporates and goes back and it gets cycled. So Ebola rain has hit over a hundred people. Who are now nauseous, but we're getting rid of that symptom. And instead, we're going to start targeting cold. Our Canadian brothers are probably going to, uh, like that. <laughs> Bless the rain down in Africa. Oh no. That brings a terrible meaning to that song, doesn't it? Okay. We have an Ebola front seeping the United States. Thank you, Bobby Jr., for the $2 super chat. I got the bubble. Great. Okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Look how nice it is. There's only a slight amount of, uh, does that mean that in the future there's going to be, like, an Ebola, what's it called? Um... Hurricane. Yikes. An Ebola hurricane would be a little bit spooky, wouldn't it? That chat is just completely frozen on the top left, so I'm just going to remove it. I'm going to instead go to my chat here. Do, 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 do. There we go. That's better. Okay, now I can see the chat a little bit better. Okay, Ebola rain spreads to Canada. Yes, our targeting was successful. Holy moly. Good job. Okay, so Ebola rain was a huge success. And it spread somewhere else as well. Japan! Oh, jeez. The, the storm is moving. And there was an earthquake in China, which may actually affect their cure research abilities. New dry winds in arid countries. Ah, uh, warmer. Well, you know what we can do? We can evolve a little bit. Now we can make it in the warmer countries. Ebola rain is infecting more countries. Oh, yes. Okay. Ebola rain is doing very well. Very, very well, actually. It's infecting countries all over the world. I mean, once it's in the atmosphere, there's not a ton you can do about it. It's beginning to spread and spread and spread. Anemia has been mutated. You see, that's that's going to be noticed, so we're just gonna devolve it. Let's look at our transmission. We need to get to the rest of the uh, country, so we're gonna evolve to go through water a little bit better. Just so that we can hit Greenland. That's our main purpose in life, is to infect Greenland. Okay, so the Ebola rain is spreading fairly quickly, and as it spreads, we're infecting more and more countries. I believe we may be successful. Okay, 31. We've got many, many countries falling to it. Madagascar, oh, those three right there. All the... In the stands. South America is not doing so well. Mexico and Canada are having trouble. Yeah. 
And Greenland is infected. Is that the entire world? Balkan states, Sweden and Morocco. Why does Sweden and Morocco do so well? Jeez. Every time. Okay, so I guess we're just going to be patient for the last three countries. You see, there's not much they can do about it when it's literally raining from the skies. And this time we have plenty of DNA. This time we've got more than enough to take care of everything. There we go, that's the last one. The entire world is infected. Let's sit back, relax, and watch the rains fall. Oh yes, isn't that nice? I don't even care about it getting an actual symptom. New minor disease spreading? Oh no. Well, it would be a shame if I made it much harder for you to cure. Okay, well, we don't want to kill everyone uh, who has it. 377, we need to give it a little bit more time to spread in these. So once it's at a 10% cure finish rate, uh, we will... Ebola Rain Awareness Day! Guys! Guys, you have to, you have to be aware. There's Ebola Rain. For some reason, I don't think you'd need to raise much awareness. I think people would catch on very quickly. I think that would kind of be like headline news. Oh, the cure has begun being worked on. Okay, so Morocco has almost reached the point where it's a runaway effect and there's no way that it can be stopped. Almost. Okay, I think it's at that point, but we're going to give it like a few more seconds. World Cup canceled. That's it. There's no way that they're going to survive. Now we start having fun. Let's make sure that nobody can get rid of it. Um, so let's make the bodies infectious. Oh, yikes. That's very lethal. It would be a shame if you were to just lose all of your blood. That, that, that really sucks, doesn't it? Oh! Oh, wow! Already breaking down. How how bad is the Oh jeez, okay. Okay, that's that's a lot of death. Great. Um Ebola Rain is actually uh doing its name. Um Pretty much everyone in the world is infected, so I'm not really that worried. And the corpses cause infection, so good. Great. There are no healthy people left in the world. That's unfortunate considering Ebola rain is now super deadly and literally everyone is dying at a rate that can't even be comprehended. You know what we have to do? We have to evolve more symptoms. Oh, tumors. Darn. Oh, body-wide infections. Comas. Paralysis. These are all very unfortunate. Um, and, and the rains continue. They continue. And they continue. Experimental cure for Ebola rain lethal. <laughs> Darn, did they use Ebola water to try to cure Ebola rain? That would be really unfortunate. Okay. Um... I think my work is done here. I think I've actually won a game of Plague Inc. Yay! Guys, we've started a brand new soft drink company and uh, it caused the, the world to end through evaporation. That is how infection works. Um, and we have eliminated all life on Earth. Nice. Nice. Got him. Wow. Isn't that fun?
Yay! We have an ATP boost gene type and virus plague type. Oh, that's exciting. That's very exciting. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all for watching. Um, Ebola Rain has successfully wiped out the world. Uh, if you want a bowl of water, contact me uh, by email. Ask for some. Uh, I'll ship it via FedEx. Uh, you'll get your bowl of water. We offer one gallon or 16 ounce options. Um, have a nice day. Uh, you're good. You don't want any? What do you mean you don't want any? You know, if you don't want to buy my Ebola water, I will literally